Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1 to 3. Through this video, we are going to discuss the merits and demerits of friction. Through our previous videos, we have already discussed about friction, the cause of friction and the different types of friction. Hope you all have watched those videos. If not, please do visit my channel and watch those two videos on friction. Today we are going to discuss about what are the merits and demerits of friction. We normally say that friction is a necessary evil because we will not be able to live a normal life without friction, in the absence of friction. And at the same time, friction causes some troubles also to our normal life. Now let's imagine a world without friction how it is going to be. The world would be so different without friction. Let's see how it is. We are going to see Jake. Jake could be any one of you. He just wanted to go to the movies. But without friction, he isn't able to move without falling down onto the ground. Because as we know that, in order to walk on the floor, we need to have a grip that is provided due to friction between the surface of the floor and our foot or friction between the surface of the floor and the shoes. So he isn't able to get to the movies on time. Somehow he managed to get there. But he isn't able to get his tickets or buy anything on time since he's slipping and sliding around. Now he is just angry and sad because he can't get what he wants. Maybe some food can make him feel better. So he dropped the plan of watching the movie. So he went to the shop, tea shop. There, Jake's food glides away as he tries to eat his perfect pancakes. It just makes him really stressed out because he has to try to find a different way to eat. A peaceful bike ride would help him, but he doesn't have a good feeling about it because... As you know that he won't be able to ride his bike also properly without friction. There will not be any grip against the road and his bicycle, right? This will make it harder for him to control. So he really misses his normal world and he wants to get out of this place in the next dream back. It would happen with any one of us that our life will not be possible the normal way in the absence of friction. You people will not be able to even write properly because we know that we are able to write the way we want just because of the friction between the nib of the pen and the paper. So friction is very much essential. Without friction, everything is going to be, we are always having banana peels under your feet. You'll slip, fall around, all these things will happen. Now, what are the drawbacks of friction? Friction causes wear and tear. As you know that as we use our shoes for a long time, the soles of the shoes will wear, worn out, and the tires of the vehicles will worn out due to friction, continuous usage. The mechanical moving parts of machineries will worn out due to continuous usage and due to friction. So all these will all these are the drawbacks of friction. And how can you increase friction? Is it possible to increase friction? Obviously, yes. You can increase the roughness of the surface in contact. For example, the soles of the shoes are grooved to have better grip on the floor. The tires of the vehicles are treaded to increase the grip on the road. The brakes pads of vehicles are rough to stop moving vehicles when the brakes are applied. Gymnasts, as you, you might have noticed it, right? They apply some coarse substance on their hand for a better grip before they hold. The same way, there are some methods to decrease friction. Rollers or ball bearings reduces friction. So in moving parts of machineries, we can use ball bearings. Lubricants such as oils and grease are also applied to moving parts to reduce friction. And while you play caroms, you might be you might have noticed that you apply powder on the board before you strike the coin because the coin will move very smoothly if you apply the powder 
on the carom board, right? That is also one way of reducing friction. There are n number of methods by which you can reduce friction. Hope you all have enjoyed learning this small topic of what are the merits and remerits of friction. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day ahead to all of you.